We moved onto a 45-foot sailboat in Baltimore, Maryland with our parrot and corgi. It took time, patience, and work, but we have managed to transform it into a home. Now, it is time for us to venture out and explore the world as cruisers. Since we ride with a small electric motor, we depend on the winds to take us to new, exciting places. Join us as we travel on board Wisdom, our sailing home. So, I went to turn on the heater this morning because the water temperature had gotten low and the air outside was freezing, so the boat was getting a little chilly. And I let the fuel run in a little bit too long before I ignited it. And now we have a situation where it's turned into a raging inferno. So I've just turned off the fuel source, so it's just burning off the fuel that it had in there, which as you can see is a lot. If I were to close this completely, you can see it just starts to heat up and burn out of control. And by opening the door, it calms down. Uh, if I left the door closed, it would actually uh, start to pulsate, and it looks like it's going to explode. I don't know if it will, therefore I've never let it go to its bitter end. I usually just open the door a little bit, and if it gets extremely out of control, I've taken a CO2 fire extinguisher and injected it up the bottom. You can see down here is the air intake down there, so I've injected up that hole which just completely engulfs the area in carbon dioxide and snuffs out any fire. So over the years we've made a couple modifications to our diesel heater. Uh, one of them is for when we have a situation like we have right now where it gets way overheated. And you can see the burn box actually glowing through the metal, uh, through the heat shield around it. So one of the modifications is actually this little metal flange on the top. So if there ever becomes a situation where the heat, uh, where the heater kind of turns into a runaway diesel, we can just open the door to let fresh air in, which bypasses the uh, burn chamber down below, and that doesn't get as much fuel, and it kind of slows the burn process down. So this little metal flange which we have on the top here. It goes right over the top of the lid, so we can have it ajar, like it is right now, and uh, oxygen can enter. It doesn't draw air through the bottom of the burn box, so it doesn't burn as out of control, even though it seems quite out of control right now, and the smoke doesn't come out into the cabin. When you go to open or close the door, though, that knob is really, really hot. So make sure you grab it using a dry paper towel. I once thought that if I used a wet paper towel, it would calm down the heat, cool off the knob a little, and then allow me to grab it, and everything would be comfortable. But instead, all the water in the paper towel boiled instantly, turned to steam, and actually burned my hand quite badly. It never, ever use a wet paper towel when you open the knob. Always use a dry paper towel. Once the fuel source burns down, the fire starts to calm down as well. And then once the fire is calmed down all the way, you can just shut the door and then turn the fuel flow back on and continue using it as normal. So while it looks like it was uh, a big problem, it's, it's not really that bad. This has only happened to us about four times in the past five years, and we just open the door a bit, let the fuel burn down, let it get under control again, and then close the door and continue using it as normal. Thanks so much for watching and we hope that you will like this video and subscribe to our channel for uh, updates on our adventures. And when you subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell. That way you'll get notifications as soon as the next video is uploaded. Thank you so much.